Yeah, we live. Is that mine? Yeah. Is it upside down? Yeah, look at that. Shalom, shalom. We have the brothers of the Great Millstone, the branch here in Chicago. The first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elder bishops. Salutations to all our fellow laborers who's doing this work with truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than never, the 144,000. And the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speck of bird, is like one is among the evil, that look like those evil. This is not a black thing. Right? And to the few aquas that are listening and learning, we say shalom. But we're just gonna go right in. Today I watched the video, and I'm looking at the poison in the sky. You know, I couldn't just grab the camera, but that's okay. And I'm looking at the uh Trails. And I know that, that uh, what Esau does, when they, when they make these videos that exposes them, they'll call them contrails, and then they'll have all the AI, the people that get on to try to defend it. Well, it's nothing, all right? But I'll but I tell you this, because I was there in the 70s and the 80s, you didn't see that. You didn't see that, all right? My son was a small child, and he was like two, three years old. I used to drive to the airport and sit at the bottom of the uh, 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 of the airport in San Jose. All right. I was also stationed at, Air, at uh, Naval Air Station Moffett Field, so I saw planes land day in and day out all the time, and you never Let's saw those. That. You never saw that. So that's something new. All right. Now. I would believe that if back then, back then, if they were doing it, they were definitely doing it under cover of darkness. But they didn't do this in the broad daylight for everyone to see. And to the fact that people just walk up and down the street and don't even care that it's there. It's like everyone's oblivious that it's there, or it doesn't matter to them. Yeah, uh, recently, D Disney, a producer from Disney, paid $60 million to add chemtrails to Disney movies. There's more propaganda so that little children can grow up and see this as normal. It's not. Yeah, it's not normal at all. And it does have an effect on everyone's health. Right? It definitely affects affects your health. And now you have some Air Force, uh, uh, former Air Force officer, who actually was, uh, she was the one that, that actually signed all the paperwork, you know, that they that for the chemicals that go into that, the pilots that spray that shit. And so she got so tired of hearing it, she decided she was gonna be, she was gonna debunk it all. So what she started doing was taking the paperwork that was coming across her desk, and she started looking into the paperwork and she wanted to prove it wrong and started looking into what was in it and was appalled to the point where she actually left the Air Force and left her job. Alright? They demonized her and threatened her of cannabis, and now she's been on a campaign uh, to help stop this, right? And if you notice, every time it rains now, people get headaches, they get full, full, of, full of phlegm and, and, and mucus, everyone, right? It's like you have mucus and you don't even sit, okay? And I watched, and, and going back to the video that I watched today, the guy put a microscope to it, and he put it at 40 times normal, and he saw organisms. He put it at 100 times, and he saw microorganisms eating other organisms. And this shit is getting in you. It's, it's, getting, on your, it's getting on your body if you're caught in it, right? Your dogs or your pets are walking through it, right? You brush it against the wet leaves. It's on your coat. It's on your food. It's every damn way. Right, it's on your car, so when you grab your car door, it's all over your hands, you rub your eyes, your mouth, scratch your head, it's all over you. 
Now you're full of mucus and shit. Because your body is fighting off these damn organisms. You get a revelation. Absolutely. What's Revelation 11 and 18? That, that's, that's it. That was, that was it. Right? Yeah. And the nations were angry. And thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. So uh, the prophets, because we're angry and we're down here, we're, we're basically, we're a living sacrifice. We're not only, because it's a Friday night, all right? And, and, and you know, brothers could be doing anything, but they, they sacrifice everything they had to do to come and do the work of the Lord first, all right? So that's part of the sacrifice, okay? And that's just a small sacrifice. For, for you know for what we're gonna get we know what we get we know the reward that comes with this go ahead it says thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and to them that fear thy name right and only the saints fear the name man but you know what everyone's gonna fear the name soon enough all right but right now only the saints fear the name because we're the only ones that's acknowledging the name small and great and shouldest shouldest destroy them which destroyeth the earth. Right, and, and the number one person that's doing that, the number one people that's doing that is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Right? Now more have to learn his destructive ways, you know, uh, dealing with all these chemicals and stuff. But for the most part, uh, one who's destroying whole forests and ecosystems, you know, when you got uh, 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 ocean creatures that have syphilis and gonorrhea, you know, when you have a uh, how a turtle got got a herpes, you know, uh, um, all them tam dirty tampons being dropped in the fucking uh, one yeah, yeah, but not, not only that, you know, the Edomites use all that sunblock, so that's one of the things that killed all the coral reefs and a lot of the uh, 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 a lot of the coral reefs in a lot of tropical places where people with melanin live and don't need sunblock. All right, whether it be Jake or the heathen, they can go on the show, okay? And so basically it's all the SPF 20 and 30 and 50. So when you got, you know, a million people coming to Thailand to their white beaches, you know, every year, and jumping they fell ass in the water, all right? And all that, all that stuff, all that chemicals on them is killing the wildlife. It's killing, it's killing the coral reefs. It's killing the fish, right? This, this, Esau Edom is a castle. Wherever they go, death goes with them. What's that verse right here, brother? Oh, oh, yeah, I got something. It's uh, uh, Isaiah 24 and 5. It says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the, 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 the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Verse 6, Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they have dwelled therein as desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Mm -hmm. So the earth is so jacked up because these people don't obey the laws, man. There's no light in them. They don't, they don't, the simple, simple thing is obeying this land sample. All right, that's what God was looking at them like they were crazy, rude. You know, trying, you know, talking about we own this, this is our land now. All right, because Gad, Gad understood, Reuben understood that you had to migrate every so many years. So they didn't build permanent structures for that reason, out of respect of the land. Because once you build a permanent structure, that portion of land can replenish itself. All right, that's why we live like that. Okay, so we lived in a place, and then, and then when that seventh year came, we, we, you know, we rotated to another place to allow the, the, the soil to replenish itself, to allow the animal population, the, 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 the vegetation, let everything go back because Gad and Reuben were using everything. They were using all the trees and they were using the, what they call weeds for medicine. They were using everything, all right? So they, mm -hmm. they didn't, they didn't wait. They wouldn't wait even when they killed a, a buffalo. A moose or a deer, everything was used. Okay, they didn't just kill something, you know, take just a trophy and wall. leave it, leave, right, <laughs> yeah. right, just so they could hang it on the wall. Oh my goodness. You know, the, no, they used it. That, uh, you know, that buffalo fed the whole, you know, uh, uh, tribe. It, it, it fed everyone. Bones, it clothed people. And the bones, yeah. and the the bones were used as tools and weapons. Right? 
So you got this wasteful, uh, murderous, murderous yeah. people. You know, you, you want to says it best. Wherever these people are walking, they're, they're walking us. They're walking up and down passes. They're walking on stolen land. All right. They'll every matter of fact, especially, especially when we're talking about Esau. Okay. Every place where they walk, they're walking on stolen land. Because they're supposed to be back in Mount Seir, back in Petra, where they're actually supposed to be at. Not in America, not in Israel, not in anywhere else. Okay? So wherever they are, you know, they're walking on stolen land. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Uh, the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief huh? cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have, have life and that they might have more abundantly. And we can't wait for you how we shall to come and fulfill that. All right? The second time. So that we can have life and have it abundantly, man. Bring uh, it up. Man. It's uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 14 and 5. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the ruler. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He who ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and not hindered. The whole earth is at rest. Not the Lord take them out of power. The whole earth is going to be at rest again. He said the whole earth is at rest. He says, and it is quiet. They break forth their singing. So it's going to be a celebration once this devil gets out of, the boot out of power. Bring a celebration up. Yeah. So it says, yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon says, since thou art laid down, no fella has come up against us. That's one of the ways he destroyed earth. Cut down all the trees, you know. He's still, he's still doing that to this day. That's it. That's it. You, know, you know, I'm a big fan of those Lord of the Rings uh, uh, movies. And, and, you know, and they're very, you can relate them to the scriptures in a lot of ways. Man. And then, yeah, when they were destroying all the trees and orcs, you know, yeah, yeah, you know that that made me think. Well, damn, shit, these they represent Esau. Yeah. They were destroying everything. Yeah. Where everyone else was about life and abundance, they were about destruction. Yeah. I remember when I was growing up, right? We came from somewhere on the west side of Chicago, and man, I'm talking about we had apple trees, pears, it was great. I'm talking about all through the neighborhood. We used to go through the neighborhood, you know, climb the trees and have the fights with them and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Throwing all that shit. Crab apples at each other. I, I all of it gone. I'm talking about yeah. they cut every last one of the trees down. Well, and not only that, they they killed a lot of them with mm -hmm. that, that stuff. Like we're yeah. looking at a we're looking at a camp trail separate. Yeah. And, they, and that's how you know it's gonna rain in a couple of days. Right? Whenever they, they heavy camp trail, the rain comes a couple of days after. It'll it'll spark, it'll disperse, and then the rain will bring it down on top of us. Right, and they tagged the hell out of Chicago uh, yesterday and today, and the day before. So that means by by it's, it's Friday. So by either Saturday night or Sunday night, because I know tomorrow's supposed to be hot again. So they're probably going to spray the hell out the skies again tomorrow. But then by Sunday, Monday, the rain's going to come and bring all that poison down on top of everyone. All right, and then every you're going to have a new round of headaches, and, and then they're going to say that you got. The C words, and you got this new variant, and all this other, you know, right? Come and get this band aid, right? And we all know that the band aid is more dangerous than the actual, you know, disease. Okay, and they told you this, they tell you this on the news. Why you think you ain't seen uh, what was the thing? Bouch, uh, bouch, 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 that man disappeared. I call him fraud. Yeah, he vanished off the face of the earth. There's too much evidence that came out uh, against him, and then uh, you know. You, look, the, uh, the miscellaneous deaths, all right? We don't want to say, we're not going to say anything better than what we mentioned the name, but, uh, you know, the miscellaneous deaths is is, is, is is counteracting their lives, man. Because the miscellaneous death, they all have, a, 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 they all have, a, 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 what's the, a common denominator. You know, they all have that band-aid, you know? I finally figured out a word we could say. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because we you know when you got, especially when you're looking at from youth to, to you know, to adolescents, to, to adults, pro athletes, 
college athletes, high school athletes, all these people all had same similar uh, uh, issues because they all, you know, had the same band yeah. That's the all connection. Yeah. That's the connection between them. Yeah. And so now you got all these miscellaneous deaths that they have, they can't account for. But the one common denominator is that band -aid. Yeah. You know, band -aid. So there it is, man. That band aid did not get no aid. <laughs> no, and now they want to come out and they want to bring new rounds of band aids. Yeah, come on, man. All right. And, and, and get right, and dumbass Americans, right? Just like I saw a coon, you know, a uh, uh, coon ass ninja uh, that I know, that I remember uh, many years ago. This was well over a decade ago. We were at a gathering, and you know, the first thing you do is you go to everybody when you wake up to this truth. So, you know, you start telling everybody. Yeah, yeah. So, this was probably about 13, 14 years ago. I'm in a gathering with them and I'm telling them and I'm going back and forth with the woman and I'm correcting her with scripture but he want to hear what she got to say. He's like, why you keep, he like, why, why you keep interrupting not letting her talk? I want to hear what she got to say, bro. And I'm like, why? I said, and I said, well, you know what? I was born to Baptist, I'm going to die Baptist. And I said, you are. I said, yes, you are. Because clearly Baptists don't care about what the scriptures say. No, no, no. And I told him, same nigga, his name is Terry. I won't say his last name. And I told him, I told this nigga Terry. I said, you right, you're gonna, you're gonna, you was born a Baptist, you're gonna die that Baptist. Because clearly Baptists don't care about what the scriptures say. Because everything she's saying is an opinion, and everything I'm saying is, is coming right out of the scripture. I'm giving you scripture. Alright? And she's coming with her, her that I think it feel doctrine. So you want you, you want some cheeks? That's what it is. That's is what that's, it, that's what it is? That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Exactly. You know, you trying to please? You trying to please her? You want some cheeks? Yeah. Oh, use their cheeks? Cheeks. Right. When it's like the half the bros in and half them cheeks already. You want the cheeks now? Cheek things. You know. So and, and the reason I bring them up because you know I'm, I'm on the on the internet and he got a picture with his face. And Kamala Harris next to him, oh. talking about I stand with her. And I was oh. like, this yeah. nigga. Same old, yeah. same old cool ass mention. Yeah. Right? Gun, Bobby. Check it out there. It's off you. Absolutely. This is the book of Revelation 12 and 12. It reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knows if he had but a short time, I want to bring that out earlier. About the, drugs, the man has some part of population control, depopulation agenda. And one of the best ways to do it is what? When these things get sprayed in the air with that band aid, right? And, and right, and then now more people are talking about it. Right, right. And plus the band aid. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's huge. That thing is huge. Out of nowhere, it's it's there. Then it dispersed. So, right, so you know when it rains, it's going to. And everybody gonna have a scratchy throat, the the the, the pounded ass headaches. Yeah. I remember you gotta put up a video, you said whenever you see them in the air, like three to four hours later, you should bring your windows down because it takes about three hours to about three to four hours for it to come down. Yep. Uh-huh. It's uh Hosea 4 and 6. It says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also Say, I will also reject thee. Right, so hey, that, that nigga Terry finished. Man. <laughs> you know? Terry And I had love for that for that brother, man. I did, and I tried to talk to him, but ain't no talking to him, man. You know? Because he, you know, because he, he was in the army. I think he's still in there, still in the reserve. And and he uh and he because yeah, he's got he's got to have at least, you know, he he can retire now. He's he's, he's got clearly he's got 20 years. Uh, reserve, reserve status. So he can retire, but but he also, you know, uh, was all proud. He was all on the inter inter on the internet, and now he just sent his daughter off to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, that's correct. You already know how the bros get down. Run her ass what you think happening? Down. You know, it's like, what's wrong with you, Jakes? Who keep pushing to send your daughters off to college, man, and send them off to the military? Don't you know that the college and the military? Is a place where identity goes to die. All right? 
That's right. College and the military is a place where female virginity goes to die. That's what happens. All right? She, right, she becomes a professional carousel rider. All right? Your sweet little baby. All right? So by the time she, you know, done with all her career, you know, and, and now she's 30, 40 years old, right. trying to get married, you still ain't got no grandkids, you know. And then, right, and then now she having all kind of problems getting pregnant. Because, you know, I, I you know, I, I had clients that was on that shit for 20 something years. Because they all got to their late 30s, and was trying to start, was trying to get married and shit and having, and having babies. And, and all of them had to do in vitro. None of them could have babies naturally. Because, they, you know, that shit in their system. What the hell you think will happen if you've been taking uh, something to kill your eggs for 20 right. years? Since you, were, since you were 16, 17, 14 years old, whatever, right? And now you're 36, 37, you know, you're trying to cut. Right, your husband put in work. He's busting all that kind of, right? Think it's something wrong with him. He like, damn, he like, fuck, my brother has children. Shit, right, I, I got five brothers, what the, right, what the hell's going on? It ain't him. All right? And, uh, those, those, some of those shots, I heard uh, it cancels out the period. So these kids ain't getting no periods for like six months at a time. And that'd be the point. And so now you've been doing that for 15, 20, 20 plus years. Now all of a sudden you want to come off of it and start trying to have children. All right? Periods a natural thing. It's like a, a cleansing. Period. It's like a cleansing cycle at night. Right. And, and, not, cleansing and, and not to mention that you got all that built up DNA in you. Oh, man. You know? Everybody. From 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 them, you know, them, them, all your fingers and toes times five numbers you'd have. Damn. You know? Well, absolutely. This is the book of Job 13 and 4. It reads, ye are forgers of lies, ye are physicians of no value. And coming with that pseudoscience. <laughs> you know, the word pseudo, for those of you who may not know, means false. All right? They'll make something false and then call it science. And then come against you for coming against falsehood. Because we're not coming against uh, actual science. The problem is, is they're not using actual science. They're using pseudoscience. All right? Theory right. is not science. All right? We broke it down, that word, many a times. The word science literally and literally means to know. Something you know. All right? I pull off my ring. I drop it. Gravity pulls it to the ground. It falls. That's actual science. You just witnessed it. All right? If I got a guess about some some theory, well, technically, you know, well, theoretically, if, you know, we do this and that, this and that and the other, you know, this is going to happen. That's theory. Because the chances are that that's not going to happen. And if it does happen, it's going to happen consistently all the time. All right? Look, that, that, that guy, the character in, uh, what was that movie? That, that first Jurassic Park, one of my favorite movies, the very first one. When the character Dr. Malcolm played by uh, uh, Gold, Goldblum. I think his name is Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, who I believe is a J. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, even yeah. though even though he's a yeah. you know a J. Double O. Small You've seen him a deep cover. But but the, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, right yeah I think Jeff Goldblum is a, is a J. You know uh, yeah because he got he got too much that hey, Dr. Malcolm was too smooth. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was too smooth the leather jacket and the glasses. Yeah man. Like, yeah. You're right. But he was rolling up on the bra, tripping the water on the head. You know. <laughs> Right, right, right. And he, I was like, man, this dude got too much soap. But it's true. You can't drop a drop of water in the same spot and expect it to trickle down my hand the same direction every time. He, and that's what he was, and basically he was giving you a very simple, basic uh, form of chaos theory. You can't control that. That's theory. That's not actual science. And that's the point he was trying to say because he, along with all the other doctors, when he got there and saw it, he was amazed too. And he, and, and so, but he had something different to say. Well, everyone else was wanting to see the next thing and the next thing. He was like, have you ever stopped to ask yourself why? Why would you do this? You can't control this. And, 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 and you know, about 15 minutes later, people start getting eaten. <laughs> and so Dr. Malcolm was the only doctor on the whole fucking island that was on point. Hey, Shalom, come on. I got the, uh, the uh, science process so-called. Bring it out, bro.
verse Timothy, verse Timothy 6 and 20. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. There you go. So Timothy warned us that there will come a time in the future where they will use false science as a weapon. Right? And so you're going to elevate a lie. You don't believe in this lie? They're coming against the lie. Oh, I mean science. They're coming against the science. No, because the science that they're, they're using is, isn't real science. Yet they're hiding behind it to try to demonize those who think for themselves. Look, what's his name? The one that they got rid of uh, when he said, uh, what was that, that one comedian actor? Uh, no, the other one. No. Carla. Carla. He said that, uh, you know, they don't want a nation of critical thinkers. Not at all. Right. right. You know, although a lot, some of the things he was saying was off when it came to the, spir the yeah, spiritual realm. <laughs> when it came to the spiritual realm, he was way off. <laughs> but just on basic common sense, the man was on point. Like a needle. Yeah, on like a damn needle, yeah. brother. All right? You ever try to, you know, do something, to sew something and poke yourself? The needle be on point. All right? That shit hurt. Yeah. All right, and so, and that's why, and the George Carlin, and that's why I believe they, they, they unalived him, is because he was too popular, and his message didn't change in his comedy. And I'm sure that somebody pulled his coattail, and somebody was like, hey, hey, you gotta, hey, you gotta come to change that down, you know? Hey, why don't you well, drop the no N-word a few times, anything, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. You gotta change that shit. He kept talking about the inner circle. He kept, yeah. yeah. He kept talking about the food, the water, the banking. He was, yeah, he was putting them JOOs on those small hats on blacks. And Christianity. Exactly. All right? He was putting them on, he was putting them on blast. And he was, and he, yeah. And, man, man, that dude didn't die naturally. Yeah, you know that, that, it might have been Hitler. You know, exactly. we talked about Hitler. Because when somebody get out of order, they just call him Hitler. Hitler, he get her guys on, you know, and they'd be like, hey, make it look like an accident. What they call it? The Right. <laughs> it's like, hey, yeah. He said, like, yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. It's like, you know what? We need a couple accidents. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? They yeah, yeah. said doctors we need were some... walking out their car and getting hit by cars. Yeah, man. Out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. All them doctors that died, that died? them, them, them the few years. It's funny how many uh, holistic doctors died in like a two-year period. Right before right? that band-aid. Right before the band-aid came. And then also uh, uh, you had, what was that thing that they had? Somebody could look it up. I think it was called River, right River or right River Wash. Something that was going on where they were trying to investigate the Clintons. And they were calling it something. Uh, yeah, they, they, were, they were investigating the Clintons and they were calling it something. River or something or... Something to do with water, yeah. but all water, I know, the water oh, it's on white water. A controversy water. over the Clintons investing in White Water Development Corporation, which failed, costing them over forty thousand. Right. So, basically, all the people that was in, that was involved in the court proceedings and all the charges that were brought up, everyone that was a witness against the Clintons, all met with accidents or had yeah. natural accidents. departures. They had. Hitler. Yeah. They all had. They all departed this life. Accidentally, you know, how tragic. Some, of, yeah, how tragic. Some of them got killed under their waves. Yeah. All kind of, all kind of shit happened to every witness. Same thing with the, the 9/11. All people were on television speaking about what they saw, what they heard. And oh yeah. All of them ended up missing an action. Yeah. Uh, it happened all. Yeah, yeah. Time. Uh, it happened also with all, all every detective and every law enforcement official that saw. Hunter Biden's uh, laptop. Oh, no. They all, they That's all met with one of those accidents. They got that, uh, that Jason Bourne and shit. Oh, they yeah. get a phone call. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Mike and Big Bird. It's hard to say. This nigga did a flip off the roof through your window and get <laughs> out. <laughs> you know? That's what you get from sitting with something, sitting that dark side. Right? It says, have no, um, with the unfruitful works of darkness, Sit, man. Sitting down in the dark with a silencer with his leg crossed and, a, and a needle with some drugs in it, right, telling you right. how, how you're gonna, it's gonna, telling you your whole story. Right. What the news gonna say about your tragic overdose. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? 
that sort of thing. He said, um, in one movie, they said, man, we can make it look like an accident so your family can get insurance. At least we'll get yeah, that. you have your dignity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Wow. He's gonna, you're right. Your daughter will be, your daughter and your son will be taken care of. Right. That's how these people oh, operate. Right. They're eating dinner with your family. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. 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 yeah, he saw some double. That's what happens when you... Uh, yeah, that account for yeah, the car. Yeah. When you mess around with the devil. Yeah, and it shows you that, that you know, he saw blessing. You know? Yeah. Truly, truly was the sword, man. All right? You know, his blessing truly is the sword. And he uses it. And he doesn't always use it uh, outwardly. He's got other ways of using it. We were talking about it earlier, Elder, up in the skies. That's part of that story. Now it all cleared up. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to get water. Yeah. It's going to go over the lake, get the water supply. Yeah. Yeah. They know what they do. 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 Right. They know what they do. about the rain. So they already know it's coming right back. They about to drink this shit. It's going to go right through the lake. And then they're going to filter that water through the two plants. You got the north side plant, the south side plant. It's gonna filter right through those plants, right through the faucet. You're gonna drink it, you're gonna shower in it, you're gonna cook in it. All right? And then everybody gonna be full of mucus and snot. And you know, all of a sudden, you right know, for the winter time. they're gonna be rolling out and talking about. So it's, it's so now we understand how they can predict what's gonna happen this season yeah, and that yeah, season. Yeah, exactly. And we need to get some new band-aids ready, you know, for this seat, this new season of this new variant of this. And this new variant of that. How the fuck do you figure out a, 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 a new band aid for a variant that don't, yeah, yeah. They don't even exist yet? <laughs> you know, we, we don't know what the, we just know it's gonna be a new variant. We're playing and, with it. In the and last this year. here, uh -huh. this band aid here, come on, man. As a matter of fact, think, people. Anytime you make a medicine for something that's called a disease, it's all the disease is the manufacturing. This is Watch your burgers, brother. Watch your burgers. Right. Right. And they show you the Resident Evil. Yeah. Prime yeah. Resident Evil. Man, they didn't have the so-called cure for whatever they had coming out. I said that shit like <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you got it. Yeah, because Esau, it's all yeah. people. Right. Everything he do, he already done planned it out before. Because, like we said, it's not about money. If it was about money, he would try to get these people to be better in society and smarter and white and built. It's about deep on fucking population, man. Control. Control. And, and that and him getting getting his birthright now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because yeah, yeah. Exactly. because the truth of the matter is, is he, that 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 Esav, I said that for when the fake Jew went by. But when Esau, if, you know, gets his uh, if Esau wanted to, he could make everything all right and make and have everybody live on in, in peace on earth, and he still be the, the top guy with all the money. But that's that's not what he wants. Right. All right, that's that's too much. He wants he wants to be he want he wants that birthright. That isn't his, and so unlike what Christianity teaches, that we can go to that in Genesis. I mean, yeah, in Genesis, when the when the birthright was given, when the blessings was given, it was already foretold from heaven. Yeah, 27. It was already foretold in heaven that the blessings would go to uh, to Jacob. Interesting. All right. So no matter what happened and how it played out here on earth. Jacob didn't steal anything because that's Christianity teaches right, stole that him. Jacob stole his birthright. No, he didn't. He sold his birthright. And, and as a matter of fact, when it came time to give the blessing for the birthright, Esau's the one that tried to steal it because he tried to come in and claim something that he no longer owned. Instead of telling his father, it belongs to my brother now, he tried to slide in there and, you know, and, and, and get a blessing. That wasn't him. He sold up the car. He saw so Jacob the car, but he had his fair game. Trying to steal the car back. Yeah, yeah, trying to come back in the car. Exactly. Father. I got one blessing for me, Father. Yeah, this nigga found his fair key in his dresser. Decided he's gonna go take take the general key for a spin. Yeah, yeah, no. Right? No, it ain't yours no more, man. And that's why you don't have the fullness of the blessings of the earth. Right, because it says the Lord gave riches without no uh, trouble. Who's on one person? Like he saw, he done had all these riches, but he got problems with it. He done had all these different wars. When we get in the kingdom of heaven, we ain't got to worry about no fucking world wars, civil wars, 
why it's people acting crazy, man. First off, we're gonna be on a whole nother level, and we ain't gotta worry about a fucking Edomite with weapon. We gonna go around the world burning their weapons, man. Exactly. They're gonna be yeah, yeah turning their weapons into uh, uh, tools, tools and flowers, tools for uh, captivity. Hey, we about to put y'all to work, man. We got you saw y'all still playing. There's no jobs. There's no jobs, man. It keeps forever. Love it. There's going to be lots of jobs. Continue employment. Yes. Continue employment. We'll find a job for you. Right, don't yes. worry. Right. That word. <laughs> that, uh, that word employment. It literally translates to a uh, servant. All right. That's what employment means. That's why America is full of employees. You're all service to the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers. Okay. That's what you are. And it's gotten to the point now. What they're saying is that the average worker who works. Uh, a non-college graduate that works for a living, the average money that they make is $20 an hour. And that a college graduate, the average money that they make is $23 to $24 an hour. So it's like, uh, what's the benefit in Because you're, you're right, 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 because you, you, you know, you're a hundred to five hundred thousand dollars in debt, depending on how, how much education you took, how much schooling that you took, all right? But you're only making, you know, at the most four dollars more than the person who didn't go to school. All right, how is that benefiting you? All right, that's not benefiting you at all, man. All right, but this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 15, and it reads, "The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame." So Esau was that child left to himself, man, just doing whatever the hell he will. You're ignoring the law, man. All right? You got something called do what thou wilt. Right? Okay. Yo. Verse 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase, but the righteous shall see their fall. At the Wadi Yahweh by Shinnok Shai, we are witnessing uh, the downfall uh, of Esau. Perfect. You know, of Esau either. Right. And even in the, in the Maccabees, when Alexander took over, and then he uh, he passed away and his kingdom got divided. It said that they uh, put crowns on their heads and evils was multiplied. Let's get it. So when Esau's in rulership, all he breathes is wickedness, evil, uh, death. You know, he can't, he's the original Mr. Can't Do Right. You know, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Well, first Maccabees chapter one, I'll start at seven. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died and his servants bear rule everyone in his place and after his death they all put crowns upon themselves so that their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied in the earth right so basically when he sat he saw evil and as he increased wickedness increased okay as he increased wickedness increased all right and all these and all these societies that that fail and one of the things that uh, is a telltale sign when a society is about to fall is, is the promiscuity of its, of its uh, female population, right? And the Western females, collectively, we're not going to say every one of them, damn near every one of them. 99%. Right. It's uh, Proverbs 29 and 16. Uh, you, you, you ain't right. <laughs> when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. You see, there it is, man. So Perfect. heavy had to come out twice. Mm -hmm. All right? The Lord, the Lord wanted you to get slapped in the face with him two times. All right. This way and this way. Right, and then when when uh, Alexander got into in the power, they got a hold of their, their blessing. Uh, with thy sword, thy shall move. Fantasy of the earth, that's how he took control of what he got. Right, and then and then all he's done since he's been in power is lie. All he's all he's all he's done is lie about, that's the only place uh, about his identity. Right. He's been a been a heritage thief. Still in the heritages of other people. Yup, they changed their names uh to, to the Romans. They get a name, they, they, get, they, they get became, they became everyone. They, they became everybody. the Greeks. Yeah. Oh, they took over <laughs> over Japheth's uh, uh, heritage and started calling themselves Greeks. They started calling themselves Romans, right? 
Same way they started calling themselves Australians. No. Right? The way they now call themselves Americans. The way they call themselves uh, Jewish. Uh, samurai. The way they call themselves Jewish. You know? They uh they call themselves uh by other people's names, man. And they truly are uh, heritage students. They hijack the heritage of other people. Charles. All right. Well, like you said in that uh, that TV show that, that they canceled it, you said it before the TV show came out. Yes. When Esau puts an Edomite uh, in a TV show or something, he's going to put him as, as a so-called Negro man. Yep, and that's exactly what he did. <laughs> he, he took a bunch of headlines and said right. this was Esau. Right. All right. After after the Bible described him as being red. Right. And after you know, so that, that and that still threw a monkey wrench in him, they pulled that shit right off the head. Well, yeah, I, I, I called that. I said, when, when they, they, they had never, the Christians were not speaking about Esau. They weren't talking about Esau. And I called it. I said, the day that they, 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 uh, they start talking about Esau and put him in movies, they're going to they gonna uh, put him as a melanated man. And that's exactly what they did, man. Thanks, sir. So not always raised with the man, we used to flush. He takes me no more than 120 years. That's exactly. Sixth grade. You're a fuck party, baby. You're all gonna die. He said, "Y'all gonna die." Well, the grave. Take me to the grave. Right? Go to hell. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your wisdom. That dude had demons on. Oh my goodness. You know what's sad though, that he, he knew more scriptures than the average Christian. What? I got a real quick mic of two and two, and they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage. Right, and that's still, and they're still doing it to this day. It's the reason why NATO is falling apart. And so many NATO partners, partners are looking sideways at the, at the Israelis now. All right? Because of what they're doing over there. And it's, and it's actually uh, creating that division. All right? Within, within ESAF. All right? I like saying it the way they say it. ESAF. All right? It's creating that division. Uh, it's a creating that division, you know, among ESAP. All right? Yeah. I think that was that. That is an effeminate uh, la, la, la. ninja that walked by in front of her. That's a weirdo. Yeah, she kind of weird. Yeah, she was hot about 10, 15 years ago. So yeah, somebody ain't think that. that, she, that, she, that still, she fell off? Yeah. <laughs> she's still trying to walk around with, the her, wall. with her belly out. She in denial. I was like, you can't tie that shirt up, honey. You gotta let it fall. You gotta thumb it up. Like a two and one. Well, to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. So that's that's Esau. All right, mainly. The, the elite of Esau, because he, Esau right on the damn bike right now. He ain't the wise man. He can't, he got the power to say to do that. There's a trillionaire Edomite family that are going to sleep. They can't even go to sleep unless they think this is like, like, oh, we got a new germ coming out. We gonna lock, uh, we gonna lock it down with this. Uh, you know? Right, they have a meeting with their they're, uh, uh, they're pseudoscientists, right. and the pseudoscientists show them uh, all the, the horrible things that the new band-aids can do. They sleep like a baby that night. Yes, now, did you see the video of the scientists that died going to the cancer thing? They were like this. Yeah, a bunch of scientists. Like, yeah. I think they were right? Eight died. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that they met with an accident. Yeah. Yeah, you can watch the video. Oh, that's you, smart. You see the pilots jumping out with parachutes. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. No. They already knew the business. Pilots they had jumped, parachutes. Pilots jumped out. <laughs> you saw them all right. together on one plane. Got, got picked up by the single engine. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, you know, they, they what was that character, Bane? <laughs> when he when he told the one dude, he said, no, you gotta stay so. Right. He said somebody has to go down with the plane to make it look legitimate. Yeah, no, it's in my bag. Yeah. It's Proverbs, uh, it's Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And right now today, these people ain't rejoicing. These people's confused. They, they, don't, they don't know which way to go. They don't know what to do, man. They not happy. And, and, and look, that's fake happiness, you see. That's a fake ass smile you see these people have on their face, man. This ain't happiness, man. These people fucked up. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. They all screwed up. And evidence of that, all you gotta do is just turn on the internet. Mm -hmm. Man. And it's video after video oh my God. Of, of, of Americans crying their heart out, losing it, you know. It's sitting in their car, videotaping themselves, spazzing out how they don't want to go to work. Women crying. No. It says, uh, it says, but when the wicked bearers rule, the people mourn, man. These people ain't mourning right now, man. Look at these people, man. They like zombies, man. It's like the strip said, the walking dead. These people are walking dead, literally, man. They don't care about the Lord. They don't care about the law, statutes, and commandments. Man, all they care about is watching the news. And when Esau say this is what it is, guess what? That's what they believe, man. Yeah. That's it, that's all. They don't believe in your how about Shemel Abishai, man. We, we, we know same times when the and the prophets, they was out speaking the word. What happened? They hated those people. They seek to kill those people, man. What you think, right? We, we going, we about to go through the same thing, man. They gonna seek to kill us, why? Because we speak the truth. We speak your how about Shemel The words of the Lord, man. Hey, look, my boss called me earlier and asked me something. But, uh, he said, uh, he said real quick, he said, uh, and he he higher up like, like dude, especially shit that's going around in the, uh, like this DNC shit. And he was saying, man, he said, randomly, he said, man, the Kennedys, this is the only time in history when the Kennedys ain't going to support the Democrat. He said something wild is about to happen in the Shit about to be real. Yeah, he's know? right. He said, he, that's he, said I, he said, I was talking to some people about it. Uh, this is a serious thing. That's a very hurt point. All right? And, and he just said, he just said, anyway, real quick, I got to go. Yeah, that, that's a very, no, but he said that. Yeah. That's what to become a talking point. Yep. So they can and bring out some scriptures. All right? Because uh, that's a very important point. All right? That the Kennedys are not supporting uh, the Democrats. Because, you know, not as, not as if the Democrats ever stood for anything that was right. But but the things that they did secretly now, they do openly. And everybody can see. Right? You know, it was better when they were when they were closet, you know, alphabet like sound. When they were closet keto, you know. You know, when they were but now, you know, they're uh, uh you know. Exactly. This is, and they don't want this truth to come out. This is Abel's Bible 15. It says, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that your house, how on host, will be gracious unto the brethren of Joseph. Man. All right? So we're supposed to hate the evil and rebuke within the gate, man. Establish what is good. Condemn the evil like that little demon that walked by talking to Rolled by, to, can't even walk. How you gonna scoff in a in a in a in a, in a damn uh, motorized wheelchair? Cause the Lord ain't the battery the don't Lord die. That no, no. she can't even roll herself. You gotta push it with someone that battery go down. So what happens when, when all hell breaks? You know, I started rewatching. I started rewatching uh, 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 Fear the Walking Dead. All right, because I rewatched the Walking Dead. Now I rewatch it, Fear the Walking Dead. And I realized, you know, that this time around, watching it, that everything that they were going through is everything we went through in 2019 uh, uh, through 
22 baseball. All right? It was like, if you know, because you know, the first time I watched it, I was irritated by the drug addict son and the woman and all. But you know, I watched it. I watched it this time, and it was different. And and so, if you've never seen the show, Shane Moore, right? But in, but in the first, in the Walking Dead, all hell had already broke loose. When the series started, all the cities were already on fire. You know, uh, you know, 95% of the people were already walking around dead. All right, and the war between the people that was left had begun. Fight over resources, you know. So the chaos has already started. In 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 in, in Fear the Walking Dead, it takes you back to the beginning when the virus first hit, when it first started, when nobody knew what the fuck was going on. All right, and then it just shows you how stupid you were. You had dead people standing up off the ground after being shot 50, 60 times. And the people out the street rioting. You know, they, they, it is like, man, can you not see this dead dude? Now the smart ones was like, you know, they was out of there. But they very few in between. You know, the smart ones would stock how to get water, food, ammunition. You know, not that that's gonna save you, but you can at least respect that mindset. While all these other people walk around with cameras, you know. Exactly. And all of a sudden, you get mauled by a crowd of dead people. Yeah, bro, he right got out. Nigga, you know? I didn't even let him go. It's like, right. Oh, good. You know, you out there rioting and shit, you know? But it just goes to show you how people had no clue. And then people were riding around with the mask on. You know, I was like, damn. And then we, then, I, then the, the, the quarantines, and then the military, and then how the military was abusing the people, you know? You wanted extra food and rations, you know. They wanted to, they wanted a conjugal visit with your wife, with your daughter, your girlfriend, whatever. You know? It goes to show you, man, you ain't the authority. You know, these these military motherfuckers gonna be some of your worst enemies, man. Yeah. Cause they gonna they gonna especially the foreigners. If it, and then a lot of this shit was being done by their own their own people. Because that's one thing they didn't show you in the movie. In the, in the Walking Dead series, you never saw the blue hats. You know, it was it was always the military. You know, it was they all the spinoffs. Daryl Dixon, when he went to France, it was always the military, paramilitaries. You didn't see the blue hats. We know the blue hats will be involved. Right? But you know, all that chaos is coming, man. Shit is real, man. Right? Uh, Mark, Mark chapter three, verse twenty-four. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. And if, a, and, if, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Right, so that's one of the elder Bible we're talking to. If, 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 we, they, if we don't be, and going back to this Kennedy thing as well, this is a kingdom divided against itself. That's all it's going to be. All right, this is the the brother of fire. This is Isaiah 19 and 19. We're going back to the chaos that the elder brought out. You know, with the movie, the show, it said the burden of e Isaiah 19 and 1, the burden of Egypt, and this is speaking about Mystery Babylon the Great, Egypt, America. It said, The burden of Egypt, behold, Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. It says, And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and this is the beginning of that. We're seeing this now, so if this is happening, that means the Lord is coming back. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother, like the elder said, everyone against his neighbor, yep. city against city and kingdom against kingdom. That's right, because these Edomites, they stocked up all this ammo, uh, thinking that they was gonna kill those some niggas and figures. And they are, but they also, they gonna, they gonna be at war with each other. Right? They're gonna be definitely be a war with each other. I got one more verse. Yes, sir. This is uh, it said as the spirit. Cause this is what we put, really witness, especially with this um division. Yeah, you about to witness another civil war. Except for this civil war, it's gonna be so bad. You not only gotta have Esau against Esau, but it's gonna be a free for all with everybody else involved. Fucking okay. melee. It's gonna be a straight, straight melee. Okay. You no, know, uh, 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 yeah. that uh. uh and here's a war shotgun fight on this. Every man for himself. So what you think happens 
with, with 30 men all got shotguns and nobody's on nobody's side. There ain't no right, ain't nobody on nobody's side. It says, it says, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. That's why the kid is, 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 is uh, like the elder said, it, it don't even matter who was up there, niggas was always fucked up. All delivered to have a shot, all right? But nevertheless, it's because the spirit of Egypt is stuck. And, and you know why? Because this word is being preached. That's why this place is public. America is fucking being in decadence every time that this word is being preached. That's right. Like the other parts of the boss, every time you speak, this bitch going down, man. That's right. All right? It said, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the consul thereof. And they shall and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over to the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, said Yahweh. And Yahweh of hosts. Hey, a one man's king is another man's tyrant. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> and that, and that, cruel, that cruel king just might be uh, Trump. Once Trump gets his power back, he don't really have to put his foot in that. Alright? He's going to have to get these Democrats in line, man. Alright? And then if, he, and if these Democrats stay in, then you know you're gonna, it's going to be just mad. Everybody's going to be full of, uh, full of drugs. You know, the food going to be... Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and they're going to try to force the band-aid on everybody. Yeah, oh, definitely. As long as we're in the captivity, as long as you Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and your seeds are just scattered abroad, then they look like the other seeds. As long as the so-called white man is the ruler, you niggas ain't going to have no peace. He's going to be putting his foot in your ass, all right, until the Lord comes back. And that's why the Lord is our supreme. And he's going to be a tyrant to these people. And we are too, and we gonna move with them, and that's what we fighting for. Yeah, how about this out? Bottom iron. Definitely with a bottom iron. You got something else? Yeah, I had a testimony for you, Zaquan. For my for my profession, you know, I work with oh, a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Of, I work with a lot of these millionaire, billionaire Edomites who, who are too old to forget to remember their credentials. So it's my job to work in the tech department and remember their shit. So one of the owners. The, the owner of the company that I work for, he's a billionaire, cabal nigga. And his, one of his credentials, his password, was I hate Joe Biden. So this shit, this shit, is, this shit is, <laughs> with like three exclamation marks. Damn. So like this shit, this shit is divided, man. Damn. You know, and th this is really the Roman Empire, man. How did you have the emperor, and you got his, uh, his, his, uh, his, uh, his, his counselors, are they all plotting against him? Or you got the, the, the Praetorian Guard, you got the CIA. All right, so they all making their plots, man. Hey, this shit is the body. Yeah. Hey, and then it's all going to fail because we, uh, we're all waiting on that new Dentel movie. Because oh, Monroe, oh, because Monroe failed, Jake rose it's up and ruled. Fuck, bro. Right? right? You know, when, when Rome failed, Jake rose and ruled and ruled. Dark Ages. Do it for a thousand years, Dark Ages. All right, which they try to cover up and bury their history as if it didn't happen. All right? It was but, dark, nigga. But, but the, but the, but the truth behind it is that the Negroes, the so-called Negroes, ruled all of the ancient world. They ruled, they ruled uh, uh, most of uh, Asia, the tomb the portion that they call Europe, the Western Asia, right? Uh, even parts of North Africa, okay? They ruled, they ruled it all, man, okay? All the way up until about, you know, the late 14th century. Esau started coming back into power in the late 13th century. By the, by the end of the uh, 14th century, 1492, they sold by the, by the mid 1500s, Esau was fully back in power and the Renaissance was in full effect. And it definitely was a rebirth of everything. Right? Right? And I did a lesson on it talking about it this morning and how they were they were trying to, you know, the difference between the Sephardim and the Sephardim, uh, the Sephardim and I hate that J word, I'm going to just call them the, uh, the Israelites. The Sephardim was, was actually Jacob, all right? And, and then how the Ashkenazi uh, hijacked the Sephardim, all right? And, and, and started saying that that was them, all right? They, because it was a, because there was some sellout Moors, Morenos, Mariscos, Sephardim, the Huguenots, the secret, the secret J double, you know, the secret Israelites that actually were here in America uh, and they were responsible 
Yeah, no, for, for the old people. Don't pull that, don't pull that. That was Diddy and Jay Z. Don't, don't, don't pull that ninja they back. <laughs> All right, but they were the ones that actually helped set up this place and set up many of the businesses and banking and all that. And, the, and then the African National came over and, and took all that shit from them starting in the late 1800s. The mafia, that, right? You talking about the Renaissance, right? One of the ways they got, took over in what, the uh, Dark Ages was what? Marrying into the kings and the queens. That and the plague. Oh yeah, the plague knocked out two thirds the, 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 the plague was the biggest thing. Yeah. The plague took out most of Jake. So Jake can have the numbers of armies and resistance to stand up against Esau as he just started coming in and taking everything. All right? Yeah. And I was, um, oh yeah, for this. Similar story to the brother, they pulled it. Similar, similar story to the brother. Now it's in the fancy place, we ain't gonna say the name of this place. But it's the Murph, a governor of a state a, in America, not, not Illinois, but a governor of another state. It's the Murph. This dude six this dude secret service agents and just the people that work there. Nobody else is in the spot. Just us. And I go to the other spot just because I'm surveying the area. And they said, man, so and so and so and so and that. These are all Edomites. I said, yeah, because they, they work around the area. I didn't tell the papers. I said, yeah, he in there. Every one of them said, man, I fucking hate them, man. These fucking Democrats and that fucking motherfucker. I fucking hate them. And they didn't say this in a group. It's every one of them who asked me was he in there. At least fucking like five. They was, they was mad. Yeah. If the lights was off, they would go. I said, man, man, they would really go in there and kill this nigga scout simply to keep coming. They wanted to kill his ass out. Bring it up. Damn, so he they needed it. Kill that he needed his secret service. Man. So that's how the Chicago. Oh yeah, he these, had four of them, five of them. So, so, five so that's up. so that's how the Chicago uh, Republicans were feeling about this visiting Democrat Democratic government. Yeah, man. Yeah. Man. Oh, and wow. there's one nigga who were, he one of the big bosses, he a, Me he a Mexican, but he think he a white man too. <laughs> so I just went over there and fucked, I was, he said, he said, man, that motherfucker so and so, he's a Republican, he a big time fool too. He said, this motherfucker, I'll get his ass. I started laughing, I said, man, that shit funny. Mm. They gonna get this, but hey, this shit is, it's done, bro. This is, uh, this is Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? And that Esau ain't in agreement. You know, shit, you got uh Democrat Republican, you know, you got these Edomites. They they going crazy over this shit. Look, it's a win-win scenario for us. Cause if this female gets in the office, you already know the uh those Trumpers gonna go crazy. And when Trump gets in the office with shit, he gonna like the elder said, he's gonna start uh, putting his foot down. Hey, so how about you just break down? So, so just like two can't agree on the scriptures, you can't walk together. It's the same thing with these Edomites. They're a house divided against each other. I got this. Oh no! Can I bring this out right quick? This is the book of Mark. Man, go ahead, bring that out. Bring that out. It's uh, Matthew 12 and uh, 25. It says, "And y'all shall do their thoughts and said unto them." Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. So how is this kingdom divided, right? You got Republicans, you got Democrats. But what's the other one they made up a few years ago when Obama got in office? They said these are uh, independents, right? Yeah, it took for a fucking so-called black-looking motherfucker in the office. I said, man, I don't want nothing to do with none of this shit. Yeah, fuck, fuck the whole system. So you got crackers who don't want nothing to do with the system. They also go off-grid. They fucking no longer spending money in the economy, right? Everything triples down to the destruction of fucking America. You got people separating themselves from America. You got the rich motherfuckers, they cut off their businesses, they liquidate, man, they're taking everything out of the system. And they're going overseas. And they intentionally doing this to bring down their system to so called bring up their new system. A new system. Order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. Yeah. Go ahead, keep reading. It says, uh, in every uh, in every city or house divided against itself 
So now stay. Yeah, because at one time Esau was together when it was against blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Now that he made the, the thing that changed is what we are integrated in this system. So now we're we're, we're so-called Americans, but there's no such fucking thing as an American, <laughs> right? That's just like a, um, a Greek. It's, a, it's, a, it's an organization. It's like saying we're uh, Target. We're Target. We're, yeah. we're Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're Chicago Bulls. We're the Chicago right. Bears. Yeah. 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 We're all different colors, nationalities, but just because you was born here. Here, we're going to come together under one banner. Now, hey, oh, what Obama said, out of many, one. <laughs> That's bullshit. Right. That's bullshit because a motherfucking Chinese don't give a fuck about a Russian. Right? A East Indian don't give a damn about an Arab. <laughs> Right? An American don't give a damn about a Mexican. Right? <laughs> what the fuck about an American? <laughs> <laughs> about Mexican. Yeah, America. Yeah. America don't give a fuck about an American. Right. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor. What is it going to take to make these Americans turn on each other? A lack of bread. A lack of resources, a lack of opportunity, uh, right? Uh, and they're not agreeing on the same policy. <laughs> Again, two walk together unless they be agree, like the brother Yashwala brought out. You know, this place is divided, man, every way possible. And how do you always like say that? Look, you got Republicans, you got the Democrats, you just got the uh, you independence. The independence, then not just the independence, because your votes don't count. The electoral vote. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah. man. This this place is so divided, it don't make no sense. Hey, you got a president, a motherfucker done went to jail for some man. The president, he about to go out, man. Let me pardon that nigga. Imagine you being a family member of the motherfucker. This, this murderer oh, killed. Hey, hey, man, fuck the president. He just pardoned the murderer of my family. <laughs> well, you know what? The division is good. Cause that, that, that equals the downfall in the place system. Yeah, we're at the broken toes right now. Yeah. Um, the toes of the boat. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. So, hey, civil war is coming to America, man. Oh yeah, this uh Matthew 24 and 12, and because the niggery shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, hey, this place is uh the people are already divided, man. But wait till the shit hit the fan, man. How cold they gonna get, man? All right, all right. hey, they're gonna turn against their own neighbors, man. The people that you was actually cool, thought you was cool with, man. They gonna be thinking about running up in your spot, man. Getting your food, getting your wife. You know what I'm saying? And your kids, and your dog. Right. Right. So they raping everybody. Right. Oh, oh, this nigga, that, that nigga said he was in the life. Yeah, man, that nigga not know it. He ain't paid to do that, because he was still... Uh, it didn't look like he was finished. Uh, That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Go ahead. That nigga was trying to tell. Second Ezra 15 and 14, the point is at verse 16. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw from nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. So going back to what the hell is I talking about, man? It's gonna be all type of uh, riots in America. All right, you gonna have many race wise, class wise. It's gonna be all out division. All right, it says, hey, your white neighbor, hey, John, hey, James, come on over. And here you are as a black man, let me go see how my neighbor doing. And they're gonna drug you up, and you gonna be their dinner. They're gonna cut you up, put you in that fucking freezer, you gonna be their goddamn dinner, man. Hey, That's soon became right. soon. If y'all know, you know. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, remember Booker Eli? Ooh, bad, bad. Bad. They, they, they invite him over there. Oh, yeah. And, they, and, and uh, uh, Denzel was like, you know what I'm saying? Now, he said, you see some cows? Right. And it show you. It show you the woman is simple, bro. Yeah. It show you the woman is simple. It show you the woman is simple, bro. Because they sitting here eating meat. My fucking Denzel said, you see some cows around here? You see some no, no. In the middle of nowhere. Chickens? Yeah, when we smack the plate. Let's go, yeah. yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna tell you, man. Look, <laughs> I'm done with women now. Now, a woman that I had a lot of, uh, and not none physical between me and her ever, because she's actually was another woman's woman. But before, I mean, another man's woman. But before, but before that even happened, uh, I dealt with her li literally on a on a big brother little sister level. You know. Uh, and, and, and don't get me wrong, it wasn't that I didn't think she was attracted to anything. The woman was fine as hell, but I wasn't physically attracted to her. All right? Somebody else that I loved dearly, 
uh, was. Cause he even came to me because he was like, you know, it's you. And I was like, no, that's all you. You know, I was, you know, just breaking down to her, uh, uh, you know, the whole that we was Israelites. Because she always, she's like, you just like always talk about the Bible and stuff. And she, and, you know, she had all these questions and I always had answers. So, so I ended up giving her my apocrypha. I, I had a brand new apocrypha and I gave it to her. You know, and I broke it down to how, you know, the, you know, the whole breakdown. Fast forward to the future, she's now, she was with my guy. And it turns out the woman was a complete demon. A complete demon, man. And, um, and putting him through all kind of shit, you know. And to the point where he was like, I might have to take a page out of that brother Murph book and go to the White Castle. Just leave it, you know, because he already was weary of his own women. All right, which a lot of Jake is. Mm -hmm. Now it turns out that this particular woman, I ain't saying no names, putting up, you know, no names on her. But she has a daughter, young beautiful daughter, and her daughter had questions about things and wanted and want to meet and know her father. And this woman, keeping her away from her father, and I always telling her her father was this and he beat me and blah blah blah. He did all these things to me. And it turns out that none of that was true. Mm -hmm. Right? None of, none of that was true, man. And the reason why her father did put hands on her was the time that he did, right? Because she broke the one of the most sacred things. She banged his best friend. She got mad at him. Oh, wow. hell, banged his best friend. And she took a selfie of herself while she was getting banged wow. by his best friend and sent it to him. Wow. So how do you expect him to react when he saw it? Yeah. It's on sight, bitch. All right? <laughs> on sight. It's on sight. No. Him and you and him. Yes. yes. All right? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Proverbs 6 and 34, for jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. There it is, man. He shall not spare in the day of vengeance. And and, 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 and and this woman is just so damn wicked oh, yeah. because she uh uh you know the, the, the girl became real close with my guy. Alright? They became they, they were really close. And he and she and he was telling her that young lady you need to know your father. You need to you know you need to meet and know your father and then you know and so the mother got wind of that conversation was like, and the cops of the boat brought them together. And he told her, he told the young lady, I'm not gonna sell you out to your mother. The conversation we had, you know, if you wanna tell her, you can tell her, but I'm not telling her, I'm never gonna sell you out. But he told her right from his mother, her mother, he said, when you turn 18 and you wanna meet your father and know your father, I'll spend my money to get you to your father. He ain't got to deal with it. And that's what he had to say. She lost it. Because what it is is that she realized that she had a cook. And he don't want to deal with it because he had learned all the shit about it. And her behavior had been suspect. And so she just angry that that image, she had this image and she was just this pretty good girl. It's gone. You know? And she's not. She's wicked. And I say, hey, sometimes, man, the more finer they are, the more wicked they are. Yeah. Right? So she's mad because her cover's gone, right? You just a straight up hoe, you ain't no under the cover. I have to go to and your daughter, it. and you didn't take it, come, come into the fact that you had a man that, that your daughter's began to like him so much, she started telling him shit. Because mm. she was like, mama, why he, you know? And so he's like, because she's like, because she even asked him, are you gonna marry my mother? You know, she they, so her children really liked him. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, well, you know, I considered it. But then she started telling him all this shit. And he already was suspicious and was kind of separated because he was like, I don't know, man, some shit ain't kind of right. So he said, I'm, I'm, like I said, man, me personally, I'm in monk mode, man. Yeah, that's just me. I'm in monk mode. I didn't did all my dirt. I didn't, you know, I, I'm, I'm good on that. That these young brothers who got that fire in them, man. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I, I, don't, I don't trust you. I don't, I don't trust them, man. These hoes and they they I don't trust them. I, I, got, I got a few that, you know, mainly one, to be honest, that, uh, uh, that betrothed, 
but I'm but I'm I, I'm uh-huh. still on muck mode. I'm away. She don't even live in the state. So I don't even see her. All right. So and and if she doesn't wait for me, if she does something, the Lord gonna deal with it. Because I already know the Lord gonna line them all up. So I'm not worried about any of that. That's not my concern. Real talk. But when she comes but how the hell you gonna let another bet your man's best friend bang you and then take a selfie of it while it's still happening and then send it to him. Then expect him and then expect him not to uh to react. Because if you'd have been in some places, that's all me. If you'd have been in some places, uh you know, some you've been over in the east. You know, you might, you might you might be headless right about that. No, yeah. big stones. Big stones. Okay. <laughs> they definitely hit this with that man, Fred Flintstone. Good. Right. The elder D-Mash always bring out the what they Yeah, he told a story. Oh, yeah. How he, he, a woman got put to death for adultery over there in the east. Good. So they, so they dug a hole and, and, oh. and, 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 and with a hand to her, buried to her side and put a board behind her. And, and then they stoned her ass up right. And they stoned and they stoned her to death. Alright? You know, and he said he saw chunks of her head and flesh coming off. Alright? I wonder which guy killed her. So they stoned her to death, man. Well they probably started off with little ones first. That's what I think. Mean. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. Just give them pain. That's how you do it. Until the big one came. It's you know, Ooh. and I'm pretty sure she was dead before all that, you know. When you watch you got a hundred people throwing rocks at you and your hands. You know, she couldn't even put her arms up to let her break and destroy her arms. Look, yeah. And now the boy had her. So, and the boy was behind her, so she couldn't move. No. When you watch those videos, they got some websites that got those type of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sound like a hailstorm, but much louder. I hear a rock, and the person just <laughs> getting mollywopped by a whole bunch of rocks. Yeah. yeah. I used to see a bunch of rocks. And, and, and guess what? That's in the Holy Scripture. That's yeah. in the Bible. You know? Damn. So, right to speak. Yeah. you know, somebody grab that uh, marvel not if she trespass against you. Yeah. All right? Because don't, 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 you know, so I'd have, I'd have had my feelings hurt, my, 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 my heart hurt too, man. I know what that shit is like, man. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it ain't nothing against your manhood, man. Like I always say, man, you could be Mr. Donkey, motherfucking Daddy Longstrom. It don't matter. Right. You could be you could be straight daddy long stroke and 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 marvel not she still will transgress Pringle just, to, can, just Pringle can to the max and she's still gonna go you know and find, go, yeah. because she just want to do something something she, different she has to do it she right? hasn't been given she, to she, God of rock. she want to taste some different protein yep. it just it just it's gonna happen it is what it is it's gonna happen man Nigga, right. I'm the Murph so, and I'm gonna just say that so bring it out <laughs> this uh Sirach 26 and 11 Watch over an impu- uh, imputed eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Wait, so read that again. It's, okay, God. It says, Sirach 26 11. Watch over an imputed eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open up her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he have found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Quiver is what you put arrows in. Big ass sack. And the arrow yeah. and the average quiver can hold a lot of arrows. Holes in the hole. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Matter of fact, can we get that in another in yeah. another oh, version? Yeah. GNT. GNT. Woo. All right. Because she opens her legs. All right. Yeah. You know. So it's, when he says she's gonna drink of every water. You know, nasty. and that's why we keep telling you that the Lord is gonna gonna have a, 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 a brutal punishment for a lot of for a lot of you women when, when this society collapses. All right, you're gonna be you're gonna uh, fall to your own devices. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. We keep telling you the carousel gonna ride you. We ain't gonna get to pick and choose. We ain't gonna get to hold two three guys' hands and lead them to the home. All right. Yeah, yeah, you know they grab it. You know the guy got carrying her, and she holding the hand of the other guy, and she leading him to the room. No, it ain't gonna go like that. You gonna get Thanks grabbed. Love. You gonna get grabbed by your hair, right? <laughs> you gonna get picked. The one dude gonna have your feet. <laughs> he was the one picking up. It was other dude, love. other dude gonna have your hands, and it's gonna be the whole and the rest of the dudes following behind. That's it, and it's gonna get real brutal in there. Bullet train. Hey, shit, the elder and the elder said it. Don't matter who you is. 
Even Jason Love got got by a bitch, don't. Yeah. And he the king of fucking all the hoes right now for the last shit ten years. But this <laughs> nigga got a fucking baby mama, don't. And his, his baby mama, his daughter was eight years old. And he found out it was his daughter. It wasn't his daughter. He still paying the child support. Even Jason Love, don't you ain't look. Ain't nobody safe, don't. Wow, so she got an eight-year-old daughter that ain't here. I got her. He been paying for it the whole time. Now, a woman, a woman was, like that should be made to pay every dime back and go to prison. That's folly. With interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with interest. That's a crazy. This is um, this is the scripture just backing up what the elder Malcolm was saying in the story. I don't know who the hell Jason Love is. He a porn star? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he porn. So, so he, so he missed the Pringles can himself. Yeah. The black nigga, man, with the tattoos. Have you seen him? You, he the one who be fucking Adam 22 wife all the time. Oh, that nigga. Yeah, that nigga, yep. yeah all the time. He the premier guy, you know, for the last, like, 10 Miss years. Slap you across the face, man. Man, that's the, 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 new, the new black silver. That's what I, yeah. So even these niggas getting got. So, right, right. You had, look, ain't nobody safe with these hoes, man. Nobody. But it says, <laughs> it's written, nobody, I'm just backing the hell up. Even Jason Love, man. This is Deuteronomy 22 and 20. It said, but if this thing be true, and the tokens of virginity be not found for the devil, and you ain't gonna find that in this society anywhere. So, but, verse 21, then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her with stones that she died because she have wrought folly in Israel. So all these people gotta see it. And like Yasharala just said, you be, that shit be sounding like hailstones, but fucking uh, Ice Cube didn't pop out the bushes talking about Debo, that's a female. They said a men Israel. These the men of Israel. To be some chick, she went off and she was getting stoned. Them are our cousins. Those are easy, like the elder brother Yashawamba say all the time. We have an Eastern way of mindset. These people have a Western mindset. All these stuff from the yeah. East, for these Ishmaelites and what these Russian niggas be on, that's what us. Hey, I talked to a Russian nigga the other day. Well, I call him Russian. I call all them stand niggas Russian. But he from Uzbekistan. And he's a Sambo champion, you know, in his country. You don't know what Sambo is. It's a brutal ass martial art, man. And yeah, it's brutal right? as hell. It, it's, it's one of the more, it's, it's, it's MMA, basically. In but in a, in a gi, <laughs> right? You got, you wearing a, uh, there's some shorts. So, so yeah, so the techniques, yeah, this shit is brutal, man. It's, it's brutal. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's straight brutal, all right? Cause you still got your judo throws, Mm -hmm. You still got all your, your gi chokes. Going it's way more chokes. technical than regular MMA because you are wearing the gi. All right? Which is why no gi is so popular because these no gi cats, uh, they lack a certain level of skill and you can get away with shit no gi that you can't in gi. That's what it really comes down to. You know, so yeah, I said it. You know, so a lot of these, you know, these no gi guys. Try to rough with that gi because they don't want that smoke for real. Put the gi on. There's a lot of yeah, gi on. Right. You know, <laughs> nah, that gi real, so. You know, CJ and them. All right. <laughs> uh, you know, CJ and them. All right. CJ okay. okay. Just saying. You know, all these. Now, you know, some of them guys that got down in that still get down in the gi. Kudos to them. All right. But anyway, go ahead, brother. But no, the, the, the Sambo guy was saying. And we, we, cause he's, he's in California now, but he always calls me and we was on a FaceTime and he was just saying like, when I was growing up in the country and we had find the in the hut, bro, they said we'd see the TV, we'd see Mike Tyson, like we'd see all the black men, like, he's like, the fuck, bro, like, these guys so strong, they so cool, like, he said, I've just drive, he said, I've been over here just driving for the last couple of years, like, these motherfuckers is soft, man. Yeah. He said, something happened to the black man that's strange that get wow. it put in. He said, I said, I know so it. So it took it outside. He said, I can barely speak English. And I know it's wrong. Something happened to the black man. He said, I grew up watching him fight, watching the back of Jordan. He said, what the fuck? Everybody just fucking soft and all of them got guns. Our ex-lab yeah. was a little you, you hear that? 
He said, all them got guns. I hope y'all heard that, man. Huh. That nigga Sam will chop you, man. All right? He, he grew up, you huh. know, watching watching Mike Tyson, watching Jim Kelly and shit like that, yeah. man. All right? Watching, watching Pernell Whitaker and... You know, you know, and all, you know, all them, them, them. He said they was moving off there sitting in the stand. That nigga, that motherfucking, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, 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 the one that, that beat up Martin. The hit oh, man. Tommy Hearns. Tommy, 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 Tommy Hearns. Tommy, Tommy Hearns and what hat? <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> Marvin Hagler. Yeah, Marvin yeah. Marvin Marvin Marvin. yeah, he, he watching, watching guys <laughs> like that, man. Yeah, you know, he was talk, saying that. Motherfucking James Tony, watching them guys that were, you know. Right. He said that. He said they were so bad. And now all of a sudden, what has happened? Now, Sarala hit the nail on the head. Two things. Esau and Eve. Right? I was explaining it to him. He said, and, I understand it. And, and then the food. Right? But, but mainly Esau and Eve. Eve and destruction. Right? She is. She, tru she truly is the Eve of destruction. Yeah. You know, the, the so-called black woman helped us one of the main catalysts to the destruction of our own people. Yeah, you know, her, we all die. Huh? Right. Matter of fact, get there, we're gonna give it a wrap. And you know what? It's funny though, that this, this stands be Jake, bro. A lot of my kids. That part. nigga definitely hey, Jake, The bro. history that we've been bringing out, Putin, when Putin brought out all, when, 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 when Putin brought out all those, those relics, bro. You know, those are Russian icons, right? Those people that disappear, what happened was, they fell and disappeared and they chilled and didn't speak the milk. Right. Yeah. 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 Right? Definitely. So two, Wrong. three generations, they is, like, they, there it is, man. Right. That's where you get, what's right. that dude, uh, that dude that trained, that trained with, uh, uh, like Griffith with the uh, uh, <laughs> dude with the, what is his name, Zabit? <laughs> Oh. Zabik, man, man, that dude oh, Zabik, Jake, man. Mega Jake. Madoff, man. Oh, that, the Abraham Lincoln nigga, <laughs> that, dude that retired. That dude, that dude, Jake, man. Look, Jake. that nigga would have been the champ in three divisions if he would have stayed. He just randomly said it. He said, "I retired." That nigga Zabik, yeah. that nigga yeah. Jake, that's that's one of the best fighters ever. And he don't even have to keep fighting niggas to show you that. That dude still, he a monster. They bro. play with bears. Hey, yeah, that dude Zabik, he definitely is bears. like, and he only trained with niggas too. Nineteen. All right. This um. This yeah, rock. This the rock. Chapter twenty-five, verse nineteen. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. As the as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the age, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman, and desire her not for pleasure. Go ahead, bro. Okay, it says, uh, a woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. A wicked woman uh, abated the courage, making the heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in the distress, making weak hands and feeble knees. Right, so we all saw that video of that northern woman, northern kingdom woman, talking about all the things she doesn't do for her husband. <laughs> Right? Oh, yeah. That's, now you finna do she gave 20 whole, niggas, bitch. Yeah, Everything. Right. So, hey, like he said, through, through, yep. through, through, her, we, through, through her, we are at death yep. entered into the world. Go ahead. Oh, there it is. Verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her, we all die. And so there it is, man. man. So that was the answer to that to that, to that that Russian's question, man. That's right. Shemai, that, that, right. right? That, that, that became... Uh, you know, that's that was the answer to the to the, to the question of that Russian uh, yeah, definitely. of it, the answer to his question. What, what happened, happened to the so-called black man what happened to that? in America? Yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. And so with that, we're gonna give all praise, uh, all uh, honor and glory to Hit the cameras, hit the cameras. Yeah, all right.